Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, what's the deal, YouTube? We're back with the Xbox Beast Fire podcast. And yes, uh, thank you guys for all your well wishes. Um, you know, I wasn't injured yesterday by those vicious bots doing uh, BGST. I'm still here in, in spirits. Everything's fine in Daniel, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. Uh, you be so kind because I hit the like button. We're going to be in about an hour and some change. Uh, a few things we want to talk about. So we got several topics. EA, uh, given the reason why they canceled Rizzle Games, um, uh, looked like the damage uh, that was done to the brand of Star Wars. That's when they lost $3 billion in revenue shares. Hold on, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff today. Uh, of course, we got the sales from Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Uh, got a lot of stuff we're going to talk about today. Uh, before like I said, we get started while the room is still pulling up, shout out to everybody in the chat, man. My man, Renz. Uh, it's cold flow. Never let Shout out to all you guys. Like I said, as you just come in, hit the, hit the like button. We have a little fun tonight. Um, Juice, what's going on with your good brother? What you been into? I haven't spoken to you on the show in about a week or so. What's going on with you? Man, just, you know, enjoying time with the family, you know, holiday season, Thanksgiving and stuff going on. But, you know, getting back on the video is about to drop one. The Fortnite, you know, getting the 4K enhancements coming up. So, you know, big things for me coming up in the new year. So check me out, man. Xbox. For sure, for sure. For sure. My man, Mighty Moss MM2K. What's going on, good brother? See, see you out there. You, they, they got your name ringing bells out in these Twitter streets. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All these mutts howling at the moon, but don't never reach it. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy MM2K. You know, I'm trying. I'm trying to get some gaming in, man, and, and, and I'm trying to get to my Wolfenstein. I can't even get to Wolfenstein, but that, you know, that's pretty much it. I'm trying to get that Xbox One X gaming in, that those, those glorious, van glorious visuals, all that good stuff. You know what uh -huh. I'm saying? So we'll see how the week works out. For sure, for sure, for sure. King's Blood Gaming. I haven't spoke to you about sixteen. What's going on? What's your good brother? You're back to work. What you playing? What you gaming on? Like we talking. Yeah. Same old man, just enjoying my ex. Uh, been going ham on that uh Star Wars Battlefront. It's kind of sad that you know uh, something so bad ruined a good game, but you know, I'm enjoying it. I hope everybody else is enjoying it. Just uploaded a, a video yesterday, I'm upload a couple more this week. You know, mm. gotta work. What you call I, that gotta, Garrett, you call that greed, putting a, <laughs> yeah, putting in a lot of time at the job, but it is what it is, man. I gotta get ready next year. I'm going all kind of video game events so you know yeah my shout out to my man gary fees the home of meals on wheels shout out to good brother there good brother right there uh meals on wheels uh what's we got going on the, the real masculine you there good brother i'm here bro well, you, you all right brother i'm good man so you trapped in the closet talking what you, what you, what you been up to nah, nah. I, I opened the closet door and let you out no. oh. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what you been playing? What's going on talking? Uh, I've been playing Assassin's Creed and Shadow of War. Mm. I had to uh, avenge Gary's death yesterday because he keep getting served up in Shadow of War like a hot plate. So I need you to stop being trash, big fella. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm not mad at you. I'm thank you. <laughs> yeah, yo, listen, cuz I put a whole bag on dude here. Make sure. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm, yeah, I'm, about shit. I'm about to get this. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, hey, Brian, well, I got some uh, 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 Patreon VIP support. Shout out to him. Uh, what you got going on with yourself? What you've been playing? Are you enjoying your ex? B, what up? Loving it, loving it. I'm playing on that Rise of Tomb Raider and about to finish up the Star Wars Battlefront campaign. Oh, okay. It's amazing. All right, for sure, for sure, for sure. Like I said, shout out to everybody in the chat. Uh, uh, guys, like I said, it'd be so kind to hit the, the like button. We're going to have some fun today, I promise you. Um, getting right into today's show, what do you guys want to talk about? EA, Abyssal Games, what you want to talk about? Uh, we can see the sales as the room that the, as the room filled up. Um, let me go right here. Oh, actually, we can start about this. Uh, something small. Start out like, um, if you were an early Xbox One X adopter, Microsoft is or are rewarding us. Uh, they're giving us a, a free digital download for the game. Uh, uh what's this? Uh, 4K. Um, Batman Lego. Lego. Batman. Yeah. yeah Lego I Batman. Got I got it yesterday. What, that's, a cool, that's a cool little perk for the, for those first adopters of the Xbox One X. I mean, if you went out there and you know you got your pre order in early and you cited for it, I mean, you want to try it out with some 4K, you know, not 4K, but like a UHD movie. You know, it's a free movie. You can check it out. Mm. 
Cool. One hundred percent. I would never play it. My kids will. Oh, it's a movie. A game. Yeah. It's a game. Yeah, it's a movie. It's a movie. Oh, it's a movie. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Lego Batman movie. Oh, I, I never watched it. No, yeah, not me either. I, I thought maybe I give it away in one of the live streams or something. I thought it was a a, a game, or a, mm-hmm. I'd have been dope that the game was Wonder Woman or something. But like I said, beggars uh, can't be choosy. I haven't even checked to see if I got mine yet. But like I said, Microsoft is good for doing that. Just you know, gifting you codes and uh, then uh, something. You know what I mean, um, but uh, I want to ask you guys a question, and I, and I keep going back to this. I never could say I, I'm, I'm stuck on this. I'm playing this. Um, first of all, how does my mic sound? All right, sound all right. Sound good back here. Yeah, you're good. Okay. All right. I was batting for a minute, but you're good now. I'm back. I'm back at it. Uh, yeah. I, I was talking to um. What well, we know, we we got the group, uh, Facebook group. If you haven't joined, check out Bang Bang Next Gen Gaming. It ain't for the lighthearted, straight troll group. Uh, but we see some of the games, like you said, with um, uh, what's the what's the what's the what's the, what's the project cars too? You know what I mean? Uh, and some people are taking it as maybe a lack of uh the xbox one x performance power or that it's not a capable console or not maybe it falls back into the now i've seen that they went back recently and updated the game like match you detect guy okay what's going on with project cars two <clears throat> the highs the lows oh my man didn't know what's going on dude um, it, it was playing like trash mostly because it was unpatched but it was just basically um i don't know a glitch in the matrix like they they said that there's a patch release for uh, the demo, I think, and then it's not released for the, the game, and it's coming out. So everybody jumped on it because Digital Foundry did what Digital Foundry does and f- fanned those flames. Mm-hmm. And so everybody jumped on it. It was like, oh, the hex is a trap, blah, blah, blah. Even though it drops to like 882p on the PS4 Pro, which is hilarious. 882p? <laughs> 882. Not even 900p? 882p on the PS4 Pro, which is hilarious, considering. Oh, uh, but Project Cars 2, like, in, this is the funniest part. All those same people that you see talking crazy and talking reckless about how this game performs was the same ones talking about how it's so easy to run car games. Like, you know, Forza runs a 4K60. Oh, it's just a car game. It's so easy. Games are games. They're all developed with different codes designed for different things. Just because one game is hyper-optimized because they've perfected what they do doesn't mean that every game is easily run. It's just the reality of the situation. But people are going to jump on whatever they feel is whatever will fit their narrative. And... It, all the people who jumped in um, for Project Cars 2, those are the same people who jumped in uh, for, you know, I forget, it, it just completely skipped my mind, um, for... Who's that, Titanfall? When they, yeah, Titanfall. When they didn't have the Titanfall 2, exactly. <coughs> it went where it was bad code, but they was like, oh, it's so bad. Oh, my God. And then they was like, yeah, it's our bad. Like, it's the same people who jumped in that thing. And it's the, the same ones who... Where's you know who scream about um, when Digital Foundry says the X drops an extra frame or something in Battlefront Two, but it's running at 4K native and it drops to 58 frames sometimes, very sparingly, n- never impacts gameplay. Mm-hmm. They didn't hear any of that part. All they saw was 58, and in the PlayStation 4 Pro at 59, while all the rest of it was completely irrelevant. So it, it's the same mentality. It's just, you jump on something early because you see it, and then rather than doing any research, you just see it, react to it, say what you want to say, and then two days later, you end up looking like a dumbass. But nobody, nobody put any type of logic to what is going on. Think about it, Forza, which is a which is a way to me. It, it, it's a way better game. It, look how good it's running. You know what I'm saying? Like it's running 60 second, 4K 60 lock. You mean to tell me that the X can't run this game better? Like, come on, man. Stop Yo, it's just it, those man. people that are looking even, for a crumb, man. Yeah, but even on the PS4 Pro, look how the PS4 Pro is running a, a GT Sport. Like, come on, man. Nah, nah. If you, oh, can't, shit. If you can't line up like that, that's that's the game, bro. Like it's to me on both sides, it's a bad patch. It is what yeah, it is. But you're gonna get that from multi plat. So I can't even be mad at it. 
Yeah, when it boils down to it, it's all up to developers and how they decide to use, you know, their engine and how they optimize it. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously everyone knows the Xbox is a beast. You know what I'm saying? It's going to outperform the PS4 at every corner. Yep. So with a game with a game like Project Cars not running up to par or having a little bit of hiccups here and there, it, it, it's it's got to do with optimization. You know what I'm saying? It can't it can't be nothing else because the system is is a beast. <laughs> so, yeah, the patch will be there, and that shit will come out. And like Masculine said, they gonna look stupid. When you when you see Forza running 4K 60 frames per second with all the bells and whistles at the phenomenal. ultra at the ultra preset of what PC is running, you know that it's it's a problem with uh, optimization on the developers part. Now, I I saw the video just like you guys, and I was like, what the fuck's going on here? It, it, it shouldn't be like this. I said right away, I knew it was down to optimization. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to fire up the game for myself because they got a demo. I actually did a video on this shameless plug. <laughs> and um, I noticed right away that they had these extra settings that weren't available in the um, full game that Digital Foundry did the comparison on. And lo and behold, in that demo, when you choose the performance mode, it's holding a steady 60 frames per second. And of course, it's gonna it's running it at a higher resolution than the... Uh, the ps4 pro but honestly tell you the game itself it's it's not a great looker it's got a lot of aliasing issues uh it's it, it's it's okay i see some banding in the sky it's not did you see the tires on the pro that's the shame yeah the, that's that's a the shame game it, itself, it looks though, like ps3 tires man yeah, the yeah, game yeah. itself has some issues as a whole like just performance wise even on pc it just has certain uh yeah. <clears throat> parameters that it doesn't reach and that's probably due to studio size and all this other stuff like it, there's always factors but and yeah, i don't it know was, it was it was a crowd crowdfunded studio let's not forget that and this is this is actually their their second game so yeah it, it it needs more optimization and they've actually gone on and said on twitter or i don't know one of the platforms that they're actually going to implement more uh updates to 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 both uh, consoles, so yeah. there's there's this, more coming down the pipe. This is also after, this like, is also after uh, and this plug from my, my, my dude Garrett after the EA tried to kill them. So like this is them still on the road to recovery after trying to get killed by EA, who you know they they control the dark side. So <laughs> it is, is what it is. Yeah, but is it just me like digital? It seems like Digital Foundries is just trying to find a win for for the Sony fans. A, a little every little corner, you know what I'm saying? It's not like blatant, but it's no. kind of out there. You know, on this, on, this, on this no, you know, on this one, I'm gonna really give them a pass on this one. This one, I really think it was just bad timing. They did the video, and then this uh, you know demo came out that had different features and more advanced features than the full game. Now, what are the chances of that actually happening? So I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt that that was not an agenda. It just Even bad when they were showing here. the game, like you could see more foley, like trees in, in the background. You could see further. And they were just like playing it off like, well, oh, what doesn't make that much of a difference? And it's like when he was showing this stuff with Grand Theft Auto with the grass, it was a big deal. You know what I'm saying? So yep. I don't know. Here's the thing. Like, even, even though all these comparisons will come out and the ones that they do early will intentionally get like a a you know fervent look even though it's not patched or they think this is patched and it's not but they don't have any um definitive information they'll do these things for two reasons one playstation winning gets clicks like it just is what it is it it was the same thing even if you go back um to all the the videos comparisons they did with the PS4 and the Xbox, anytime Xbox was a slightly better or skew, those had higher views. So now it's the same thing. People want to see the underdog, quote unquote, in this case, above, through power wise, triumph. So PlayStation winning gets clicks. They're gonna put that out as soon as possible so that they can say this is a game that where the X doesn't do well, and the PS4 Pro does. So and that's it's just yeah, one more the patch come out. They don't look stupid though with it, right? But they, they don't have to retort anything unless they do another comparison, I, or they can just put up a, a editorial at the top of the article that says um, a patch is coming. There, done. But all them clicks already happened. Yeah, you're right. About that. Hey, man, son, and, I got a I got an example for you too, bro. 
So I was in the comment section for that uh for that video. I told everybody that the X one, and people was like, nah, -uh, because so and so got the better frame rate. I said, hold up. If we gonna if we gonna do this, we gonna go by Digital Foundry's rules. Let's go back to uh, Battlefield One, where PS4 had the had the P their OG PS4 had better uh, resolution, but but the, the box Xbox had the frame had rates, yeah, better frame rate. They gave the win to uh, PS4, so I don't want to hear all that. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm we saying. Gonna, Just like with the GTA the same thing. logic, we are gonna keep the same energy. I don't want to hear that. We are gonna buy their logic. We're gonna buy Digital Foundry's logic. I don't want to hear about the new narrative that everybody got going on. I don't, I don't care about it. It's, that. I know where it's always going to, it's always going to change just because people are going to say whatever they need to, to make their choice seem the best. And the PlayStation people, they just will slowly, but surely change everything that has been the reality for them for the last three years. Like, Every every little facet. So, if all of a sudden a bunch of indie games are the thing, and now they aren't because PlayStation said they aren't, they're no longer a thing. If um, if frame rate didn't matter, even though consistently the Xbox usually had a more stable frame rate because that is what Microsoft focused on. Because if you go back to their marketing, they were talking about how you know 60 FPS, and they were they were all about frame rate when the Xbox One came out. But Sony made it about resolution because there was such a disparity between the two, number-wise. And a lot of their games... 60 FPS stability and 50, you know, 6, 52, you know, with drops and dips, none of that meant anything. But 1080p versus 900p, those are two completely different numbers. They can both say 60 FPS because they, they hit 60 FPS sometimes. But 1080p and 900p, those are two completely different numbers. This is a definitive fact. This is numbers. So we can put that on paper and say, yes, 1080p and 900p, completely different things. And this one is ultimately better. Even though when you look at those comparisons, one runs better, but it's irrelevant because it's at 900p. It's, it's irrelevant because it's running a lower resolution. Now, all of a sudden, it's the same thing, but in reverse. And as well, this one runs this. This one has, you know, sticks to this 50, just like even the, in the um, Battlefront thing. They were like, the P they said it five damn times in that video that the PS4 sticks to 59 to 60 frames per second a little bit more. And they kept saying it, it has no bearing on gameplay. You only need to say that once. If it has no bearing on gameplay and it doesn't drop to the low 50s or 40s, it just drops two frames every so often, and they both do it, that is not something to talk about. But they said that shit five times to ensure that you heard that the PlayStation 4 Pro has a one-up. No. They, they ensured that you heard that, so they said it over and over and over. See, that's, that's just like proving my point with the little little jabs here and there. Just trying to make sure that they know, like, hey, if you you still gonna get a good experience. I mean, not saying that you won't get a good experience, but from the way they were talking at the beginning of the generation, from a little bit of blades of grass that are missing on the Xbox One version, like it was the end of the world compared to what we're seeing now, is totally different. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm trying to say. Right. Hey, hey, well, at the end of the day, um, this to me, and well, yes, uh, yeah, but coming from a person. That well, most of you guys didn't have both. Also, there's no comparison to do between, between the X and the Pro. Uh, <laughs> you know, honestly, not. there's not. It, it's not even no spin and no damage control. It is. Yeah. You know, we can go back and forth again. Who has the better games? We can revisit that topic in a little while. You know what I mean? But um, just like there's no uh, really like you know what I mean, comparison the two. Now listen. Now some people are look at me when I say uh, or oh, call me a hypocrite. Well. If that's the case, well, next gen, uh, Sony had the better version of the multiplats. Uh, started a generation, but you still bought the multiplats on the um, on the Xbox, and you're absolutely right. Why? Because I'm more invested into those e into that ecosystem. But my issue, not to say I have an issue, but my I, I look at some of these guys funny that went out and got the Pro or the PS4, whatever the case, to play the better version of the multiplats. But those are the same people that are doing shade. At the Xbox One X, 
that's what I don't understand. You know what I mean? You know, that, that's what I'm looking at you. Like, you know, if you say, hey, I'm a PlayStation guy, I'm going to play with my friends are. Fine, you play what you want. You know what I mean? But for those that went out or got the Pro or hyped the Pro or the PS4 because they had the better version of the Multiplats are the, uh, the same ones that are, how you say, fat shaming the Xbox One X. Oh, no, I don't just have any games. I'm just do- like, come on. What are, we, what are we doing? We ain't about to do that. You know what I mean? We don't get the biggest knife in the joke. We're going to cut the bullshit out. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you know? So, that's that's what I'm looking at, like jokes, like a little spooky. You know what I mean? Um, we've gotten some articles. We had Adobe Digital. Uh, Sony came out and said they had the Black Black Friday ever. Uh, some people say Nintendo one. You know, uh, and and overall, I want to say this though: it is healthy for gaming, right? You know, the more consoles are being sold, yes, more money's being spent within the industry. I mean, more games can be made, right? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, they, they don't have to say, oh, the consoles are going away. I mean, they stay good right now. Yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, that's Michael Patrick. Every generation is going to be last year uh, for <laughs> console gaming, right? Uh, uh, but, but, but with that being said, right, and, and, and listen, maybe some, I'm about to, uh, how you say, uh, inner, um, uh, chime in my inner fan, fanboy here, right? Microsoft is releasing, uh, or did release a new console, right? One that I was, you know, a lot of ex- diehard Xbox guys were waiting for day one, right? Now, um, came out the beginning. What's what's part of Microsoft released at the beginning part of November, November seven. Now there are conflicting reports. Some people said, said some people saying six hundred thousand for the year. Some people saying five hundred thousand for the month here in North America. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It doesn't even matter. But I mean, but like I said, Sony did supposedly win Black Friday. Now you got my man Porter Rock out there doing a lot of non-profit work right now. <laughs> my man P Diddy named him. Hey Porter Rock, where you at? Yeah, they're doing a lot of uh 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 a lot of yeah. You know, Paul Rock, he didn't want to come up there sixty. He's finding every angle. He just sent me some stuff in Latin. He just sent me another uh, uh, article. He know I'm believing the Bible that was written by the people like Israelites. Uh, yeah, you know he out there finding all types of sources of the Lost Scrolls of Emmanuel the Baptist. Now, looking, I haven't really talked to you guys on air about this, so I'm going to go across the panel and uh, I'm going to get you guys' opinion. About who do you think, honestly, all fan voice before the side? Uh, because uh, shout out to my man Tim Dog. Tim told me that um, MPD ends on the 25th. You know what I mean? So that's, I think, when he's, how many days is my 30? Uh, yeah, yeah, two, yeah. Days left. All right. And so, uh, so when, when, when is the 20? When was the 25th? Is that Black Friday? Or uh, that, Black Friday? Ago. That, was, that was Black Friday. Well, no, that was the day after Saturday. All right. It was, uh, White Saturday, all right, cool, right? <laughs> so that's when they, they, they tile up well, tally up all the sales, whatever the case may be. So actually, Cyber Monday is actually going to count until count awesome. on December's MPD, right? Mm-hmm. So anyway, yeah. so because I'm going to go across the board. Uh, I'll start with you, Garrett. Who do you think, in your honest opinion, is going to eke it out? you think the X is going to help Microsoft pull it out? Or did Sony, Sony do too much damage with the $189 uh, PS4 Slim? You're talking about MPDs, right? I'm not sh- honestly. I can't tell you. Like you know, I don't be doing all that passionate betting who gonna win. I'm I'm really waiting to see who gonna win. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I think we gotta stop sleeping on Nintendo, man. I hate to yeah. break it to y'all, bro. Well, I'm, yeah. I, I'm talking about just between the two. You know what I mean? Uh, between Microsoft and Sony. See, look, y'all t- always try to ignore Nintendo, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. White, white King Nintendo Kong going crazy in the console, chat, bro. Like, yeah. white Kong. He <laughs> <laughs> going crazy in the chat. I, I am a mature you know. gamer. What happened? Listen, man. Uh, I don't know, man. I can't call it, man. Like, I like I like I was trying to tell people, man, like Sony had the better bundles, bro. Like them bundles, so they was like 83% of what sold in the UK, bro. And it was bundles, and Sony had the top bundles. Those were the those bundles were the top what four games that were sold on Black Friday. Like, I don't know, man. It's gonna be a close That's one, bro. Uh, I can't tell you who won't win that, man. I don't know because you know what the it all depends on how much the X sold in the United States. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? The X could have sold who knows. Well, listen, on Amazon, well uh, uh, on Amazon, the S did outsell the slim uh top five for the month. You know what I mean? But you know, uh, I think Sony may have done more damage. I, I could move maybe in the stores. I don't know, Maslin, talk to me. I need a voice of reason. Garrett, you need to try to play it safe here. I need some fan buddy. <laughs> uh, I just want to help me stroke my inner fanboy here. Hey, Mash. Yeah. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, and that PlayStation 
won Black Friday, mm -hmm. but Microsoft probably won the month. Mm -hmm. I, I'll just go out on the limb and say that. Just because like the the reason Microsoft definitely stabbed themselves in the foot was PlayStation went on um a a rampage and they dropped everything on Sunday. So from Sunday for a week you get the Black Friday deal. Mm -hmm. That that just didn't happen for Microsoft. They didn't do that. So you, yeah. longer time means more sales. It just is what it is. Mm -hmm. So they they won Black Friday, quote unquote, because they used a um, uh, a a improved tactic. Mm -hmm. uh, but so I'm gonna say Sony probably won Black Friday, and Microsoft likely won the month because they had so many upfront Xbox sales at the beginning. People still was buying. Xbox ones on Black Friday for the same 199 mm -hmm. so like people were people were buying Xbox ones They it's probably very close But as far as uh, Black Friday is concerned It's probably a, a close thing and then what would put Microsoft over the top was how many uh, X's they sold at the beginning of the month That's gonna be the, the definitive difference if you can give an educated guess you know, just for them, What do you think they may have done? Three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand. Mm. Um, probably. X. I want to say, I want to say, three fifty, four hundred. Some that that sounds about a a good range, just for that uh, that first run at the beginning of probably three fifty, four hundred between all the stores. So, all right. Okay. All right, my man, Mighty Moss, my man with the medicine. Now listen here, Porter Rock. Said he's gonna send the FDA to your home. <laughs> bad, bad mojo. You know what I mean? Like he, my man, Port Rock, trying to he trying to curve. Like I said, we are gonna set Port Rock the hell up. We gonna get him in the alleyway. I'm gonna sell him this fake gold watch, which he knock the hell out of mine. I, I um, think he, I think he wants to join the clinic on the real for real. Just you know what I'm saying? Just we're trying to be low about it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, but um, as, as far as my predictions, man, um, I came into this saying that. Um, I was a little bit different from everybody else. I, 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 I came into the saying that I didn't expect the Xbox to start winning NPDs due to the X until second quarter 2018. That's because that's when people make a lot of tech upgrade as the taxes and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this is definitely a tech upgrade. With that said, it's a lot closer to what I thought it was going to be. And then when you look at a lot of Adobe Analytics information, like they give a breakdown daily of what was the best selling items, top five items. And a lot of these days over the last few several weeks, man, it's been the Nintendo Switch. So like Garrett said, man, we we got we might have to stop sleeping on the Switch. We're not talking about the Switch, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, OK, but out of the two, um, I would say I, I'm because it's still close, man, I, I, I'm saying that I think Sony might still edge it out only because they pulled they pulled a move. They did that drop of that price Sunday. They did it early. I think it's probably going to be a big deal for them and help them edge it out. That's just my prediction. Not, But not to say that the X is not going to have good sales altogether anyway. You know what I'm saying? But I think that that move might help them edge it out. Okay, all right. Get the batch. What's up, man? My oh, man, you betting about you betting about zero thirty two on this show, man. I need, I need some <laughs> valuable data. I need some valuable data. Now, now, I don't, listen. I need you to dig deep within your soul. You know what I mean? Talk to me. Do you think Microsoft edged it out? Well, that 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 research group, what is it, Adobe or whatever? They yes. they were basically saying that uh, the Switch and the Xbox One X um, won Black Friday. Then I was. Yeah. I was over in the, um, I think it was Neil Gaff I was on, and uh, you know they have some like industry people there, whatever. They're saying that you know it's going to be close. It, it, it could be any one. It could be, it could be Nintendo. It could be Xbox. It could be, um, it could be the PlayStation. And then I'm hearing numbers like you know the X alone did like 750k worldwide. So. It's 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 hard it's hard to say. But if we're gonna if we're gonna say Black Friday, um, in the UK, I'm pretty sure that PlayStation won in the UK for Black Friday, and and in the states, it's not so cut and dry because some it depends where you were. Some places sold out of PS4s, some places 
sold out of uh, Xbox One X's, Xbox Ones, and then you have like Amazon where Xbox One S has been like number one over the over the weekend because the uh, PlayStation Four they ran they ran out of uh, their yeah they ran out of their allotted shipment of uh, discounted SKUs. So the Xbox One S boom it just shot up. Now we know Amazon is like one of the largest, if not the largest, online retailers. So that that has to account for something. And and most people are doing, especially this type of shopping online. So it's 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 a toss up. I I gotta say though that Sony. You know, they cut the price of their PlayStation Four like a like a, you know much in advance before Black Friday. Yeah, and also too the PlayStation Four Pro also got a price cut. So, you know, the, I don't think the PlayStation Four Pro sold too many units, but of course there was a few more units that sold because it was cheaper, right? Mm. So it's it's man, it's 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 really close now for for the month. I'm, I I still think Xbox went out because that launch was a really good launch for Black Friday. Man, it's 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 very it's very close. Everything indicating right now is saying that kind of maybe the PS4 won, but then PlayStation came out and said, "Yes, it's our most successful Black Friday ever, mm-hmm. except for this launcher." Yada yada yada. Yet they didn't come out and full 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 fudge say that um, you know what we won Black Friday. They didn't say that. And Sony is a company that if they know they won it. They would have fucking. They're gonna it. announce it exactly. They're, they're gonna announce it. So, so that tells me that it's very, very close to, ca- to 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 count. And like I said, these analysts that or these guys are in the industry that are on reset era and neo gap are saying that it's really close between all of them. It's gonna come down to the wire. Flip a coin. That's what they said. Flip a coin. Well, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 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 Brian. You wanna give? You wanna give a uh, uh, juice? I'm sorry, juice, Brian. You guys want to add something? Uh, I'll just say pretty much Sony started off Black Friday Sunday, supposedly before the Black Friday kicked off. So a lot of their consoles probably were sold before Black Friday. So that's why you saw a lot of these stores without the PlayStation 4 uh, in stock on Black Friday. Sure, sure, sure. Sold out. Um, overall, I think Xbox is going to win the month because I mean, new hardware is going to sell. I mean, the Xbox One X came out selling like crazy, and especially once everybody got their hands on it people talking about how good it looks on the 4k tvs you saw how well 4k tv sold so i mean you gotta give the nod to xbox i think for the month but on black friday i guess it's a toss-up because i mean who will we'll really know for sure unless until the numbers come out but for the month i think xbox got it and i'm not just saying that because i'm an xbox dude but just from you're saying you know, it because you're an xbox dude <laughs> 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 I, I know the niggas with- who them niggas, right? But check it out, right? <laughs> uh, 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 I look at Not it like real. this. Right? I, I, that, that's my true opinion, though. I do think they want it, though. Shout out to everybody what? in the chat. I'm sorry, one second. Let me pay the bill. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Halo Storm, do me a favor. Guys, we got to get, get our social media shit by helping. Halo Storm, leave the link for the Discord. You want to interact with us, doing the Discord, talk to us, talk about game. You know, sometimes Twitter gets a little hectic. <clears throat> Join our Discord. We're in there having a good time and anything like that. Um. I want to say this, right? Gunny FBS, shout out to you, good brother. I haven't seen you in a while. Um, that last year, right? At the end of the day, now listen, I understand I don't have any stake. I'm, I'm going to throw the disclaimer because you like, oh, yeah, corporate is up. Shut up. Right? I'm an Xbox guy. I bleed green. You know what I mean? I, got, I suffer from Hulk disease, right? <laughs> yeah. And now, for the morale, let's be, let's be clear of this. The Xbox, right? Uh, well, the Xbox fans. We've been getting our teeth kicked in more or less, right? Listen, I'm, we call it, they're going to honor me next month, Microsoft, and uh, during Black History Month. I was the first person of color to lose my life in this council, board, right? We all know this, right? <laughs> With that being said, right, Microsoft releases a new console. And like I said, the the narrative has well, been this generation that more or less Sony was dominating because they had the better version of the multiplex, right? They took the the the, 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 the shotgun player out of the Donnie D's uh, uh, playbook. Better marketing and stuff, uh, doing all the, the, the third party deals and having a better version of the multiplayer. And like I said, well, I think like this generation was a little different. I, I think maybe each generation changes a little uh, because this generation, you people were more concerned about the performance um, than the actual the quality of the games. I'm going to be honest with you, and this is, you know, um, and I said this before, like sometimes I think next gen is ahead of this time. Uh, to me, the start of this generation was very lackluster. And the reason for that would be because that 
not only I'll give you a game like Rise Son of Rome, or not Run the Rise of Rome, no, uh Rise of the Tomb Raider. Great game. We're looking at it now. But then it also released mm-hmm. on the 360. Forza Horizon 2. You know what I mean? Great game. But then it also released on the on the 360. Titanfall. You understand what you see what I'm going with this? Uh Destiny also released. You know what I mean? So yeah, a lot of point. the big games that came out this 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 generation at the start of the generation also was on uh previous uh hardware you know, on older hardware hardware, right? Now with that being said, right? So Microsoft releases a new console. Uh, they took away, like I said, the power nets of Sony. Now they're going to have what they call the better version of the multiplats, right? Here, now, came out November 7th. Uh, you know, and rumored, you know, uh, so, you know, like I said, the hype for the X was riding high, selling out everywhere, the Scorpio edition. I mean, I'm going to keep it funky with me personally. I don't really see the difference between the Scorpio version. And the regular version, as long as I got me an Xbox, uh, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. And I'm, I'm, I'm one to like, like the collectibles and like the fancy thing, but it to me it wasn't that big of a deal, right? But it, to me, what, like I said, what it what was shocking, you know what I mean? And um, <coughs> I thought the X, not saying that it did well, I'm sorry, it didn't do, do well, but I thought it would do a lot better on, on, on just places like Amazon, you know what I mean? Uh, because I look like I look at it like this generation started when in 2013, right? Who the hell doesn't have an Xbox One by now, or who the, who doesn't have a PS4? You know what I mean, now I understand there are a lot of new gamers that are, you know, that are getting their first console that are eight and nine years old. I remember that feeling like when I got my first console, the NES. Uh, when I was in fourth grade, and I think my grandmother got it from Crazy Eddie's. You know what I mean? That joke was a criminal. You guys don't know about Crazy Eddie's. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, literally, it was a criminal. <clears throat> he had like a chain of stores, right? And you know, and that was my hoo ha. You know, a lot of kids are getting their first console right now, right? But it would be a little, I say, uh, disappointing, you know what I mean, if Microsoft didn't, and, 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 and that's all for bragging rights, you know what I mean? And I don't want to give that horse face motherfucker Porter Rock 60 bucks either, right? My man of Rainbow means. <laughs> but it would be a little um, uh, alarming if they still didn't. That's why I said, you know what I mean? And I'm going to say this again. I understand that Microsoft, going for, we know this, and we are the horror core, but Microsoft should have had one of those shooters. You understand what I'm saying? Because well, you're known as the shooter box. Now, mm-hmm. pub, now the Superman may be different. You know, PUBG is probably going to be huge. <coughs> Everybody and, and, and is getting a physical release. If Microsoft was smart, they'd do a bundle with that right there. You know what I mean? That's going to sell houses alone. You understand what I'm saying? But I think they should have had one of those shooters. Now, Assassin's Creed, I think, is performing better than I thought it was going to perform, and, and, which is a good game. It's a great game. Yeah. But they should have had duty or... I, well, you know, or, or Destiny, or you know what I mean? Or, or I don't know how to deal with the Star Damn Wars. Damn, the Star Wars, we don't, you shouldn't have had that because something though, but so you're known <laughs> for the shooter box. Could though, you imagine if Star Wars had to deal with Microsoft and, and, and the whole micro tra- uh, microtransaction stuff went down? It was man, man. The, all we had to do was holler at my man crap jump for that mega turn. <laughs> we that day back up, put the spin dog on it. It would have been, been Microsoft and EA trying to take over gaming with this microtransaction. It would have been well, that's a crap. But I'm just saying, you know, for the morale, you know what I mean? For the morale, you know what I mean? At, at the end of the day, like, because, I, and, I, and I said this yesterday doing BGST, you guys keep asking me about BGST, we can talk about it over here, we get the hell about it. That, uh, you know, that, uh, how should I say this? If they still can't beat Sony, here you go, fuck it. If they still can't beat Sony and they have the better machine, I don't know, I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what, what, what do they go? Where do they go from here? You know yeah, what I mean? But, but Z, yeah, hold I, up. I got, I got my opinion. This is coming from, I was at Best Buy, I was at the GameStop, and I was at the Walmart, and then my brother in Delaware was <laughs> bounced around between the same stores, between his stores in Delaware and PA, and all of our stores that we were going to, the best-selling stuff on Black Friday was still between Nintendo and Microsoft. So I still think, think Microsoft, but since it's between Sony and Microsoft, Xbox is going to take Black Friday because the the reason being is because since they did start their sale early on that Sunday, most of their PS4s were gone. What? Like the the GameStop at my brother's store, he said they only had 18 PS4 Slims. Then my store only had 12 of them left. So it's not hard to sell out completely when you got that little stock on a Black Friday. Here's the thing, though. At the end of the day, right? It's it's not even about the, the bigger picture. Is not just about winning Black Friday. It's about winning the NPD. 
You know what I mean? We just use this, you know what I mean? Oh, Black Friday. It's really about winning the NPD. With Microsoft, with new hardware on the market, uh, it's like a giving. You know what I mean? Like even the Wii U was, you know, shitty. That, you know what I mean? It's a new console, new hardware. And gamers go out and we buy those consoles and throw the hardcore. You know what I mean? Uh, well, they trick us down over to, like I said, the couches. will probably be Black Friday. Shout out to my brother, too, Mr. Parker, man. Mr. Parker's a Sony dude. Mr. Parker been heavy on that Xbox. He said, man, man, I don't, what was I thinking? I should have got me an Xbox One X. Man, shout out to Mr. Parker, bro. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Parker. Yo, and listen, I got to say this is a disclaimer. If you guys watch me play Gears, right, and you thought I was moving around slow, Get that on dude right there walking around, he got shingles. I watched <laughs> like, watch play. Oh, my God. God. Oh, my and God. Listen, and listen, 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 I can hold my little, hey, tell them, Juice, I would, I ain't get killed one round, did I? I went up yeah, 16. Yeah. Z, yo, yo, Z actually came from. Well, I'm trying to tell you. When I tell you Z was, was shitty at the fucking gears, shit. Yeah, listen, I, 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 I went around without even dying. Put them 16 and he died. I wasn't hiding. And they put in that work. You know about that blow? Yeah, if y'all don't Take believe us, bugs, blow. If y'all don't believe us, come join them parties, man. I'm telling yeah, you, for, sure, man. for parties. sure, for sure, man. My bro band bullies. But again, what I'm saying is about them winning the, the, the month or or even changing the narrative. Like, Garrett, like, well, you see, like you said, here's the thing. Like I said, I understand. And we're going to talk about these exclusives. They keep talking about these exclusives. They keep asking me about these exclusives. <clears throat> now, yesterday on, on BGST, right? Um, <clears throat> think, look, think, look, look, sometimes things get heated, right? And I, and I think it's the when we all have a, a difference of opinion. Because we all do, right? Um, and and I, I don't like to call people fans. You know what I mean? Because I don't, I'm not a celebrity. I'm just a joker with a camera. Uh, and I, just, I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't carry myself like that. You know what I mean? Um, but we all get our own supporters. Some people say, "What well, next, Ginger?" Uh, they said, oh, "I'm hanging around with Porter Rock too much. He's changing me." And my my, let me tell you something <laughs> about me, right? My opinion is my opinion, but my opinion has never changed, right? I've mm-hmm. I've always said that I, I'm I'm I, trust me, since I've been here since the day from one that I prefer God of War over Halo. I'm not a big Halo guy. I even hear I even heard Mighty Mouse say that. I'm not. I'm sorry. I even heard um, <clears throat> Maslin say that yesterday. I think he was in the party talking to somebody. Yesterday or day before yesterday. I'm not a big Halo guy. Never have been. I like Gears, but it is what it is. But I've seen this, but you know what I mean? To just sit and say or be in denial that the last AAA game that we had was Gears of War 4. You know what I mean? And that was last year. Boys is big, but it's a, it's a, it's a similar story, which is a niche title. Where's the seven, buddy? You know what I mean? Uh, it's, you know what I mean? And like, and I'm, I'm like, that was last year. And to act like there's not a problem may not be a problem, or even say that, you know, there's rumor that Sony may be getting Devil May Cry 5, you know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? And act like that's not an issue. Like, to me, like, I, I think... time exclusive, though. Well, and, and I also heard it's a Nintendo. It's going to be on the Nintendo Switch, so it can't be an exclusive. But whatever. I'm just saying. Something that's not mm-hmm. on, my, on my preferred console is a problem. Mm-hmm. You understand? Regardless of what I'm saying, I still... <coughs> I, mm-hmm. I still hear my thing. I mean, here's my thing. I understand I still get to play it, but it's not on my preferred console of choice. You know what I mean? I, you know what I mean? I, my PlayStation is just exclusive. All my multi platform on my Xbox, and that one less game I get to play. I, I understand I still get to play it, but I would prefer to play it on my Xbox. You know what I mean? Agree. To act like that, that, that it's not an issue or, or, or that thing, it's though. fine. Talk to me. Okay, go. Here's the thing, though. I'm not jumping on any goddamn bandwagon about no leaks. It's, if it's supposed to be shown at PSX, of course, all you heard was about news from no, places. Hey, what's it about? Before the other control, the same guy that leaked this is when they leaked the Street Fighter stuff. So, Street Fighter guy, no, no credible. I mean, yeah, but this it's still the same thing. Like, okay, you you hear about um the the PUBG thing, then two seconds later it's out on everything. You hear about uh what what do you call it? The the shit, I can't even remember the name, but like. You you hear about these games that are exclusive to this platform, and then six months later they're releasing on the Xbox or they're releasing on the PlayStation, and people jump all over that. I'm not jumping on anything until someone definitively says something. Like people jump on leaks all the time. People jump on one article that gets republished by 17 different places, and they will go with that as fact. It's like it's it's the same as the digital foundry shit. The only difference is mm-hmm. that it's words as opposed to a video. Uh, so some truth jump on these things, some if it's exclusive, it's it to be if seen. it's exclusive, that is a problem for Microsoft. Sure. Well, Matt, your question. Matt, it's saying. Matt, your question. I don't want to put any words in your mouth, Matt. 
It sounds like you're saying if it was not for slavery, you would not have met your Lord Savior Jesus Listen. Christ. <laughs> that, that ah, you say. <laughs> but I'm saying if it's exclusive, that's some Microsoft needs to get on their shit. And all Look, the, the I just bullshit think I, Phil's been talking about the, the studios they're buying and all that bullshit. Just like I've been saying, just like I've been saying, Microsoft but, needs to tell us what the hell is coming out. Because regardless yep. of if you know the release date for um, Days Gone and uh, Hit Hideo Jim's game, like regardless of if you know any of that bullshit, you know that they exist. Microsoft, mm -hmm. I don't know what the hell they're doing, and nobody does. And that's the dumbest shit in the world. Microsoft exactly. But see, look, that's that's that. Microsoft's problem, though. Look, <laughs> Capcom came out and said they got a lot of games. And Capcom been trying to sell a lot of IPs lately, and nobody's been picking up on them. Mm -hmm. So I think Sony did do something with Capcom for this Devil May Cry. And it may be a time exclusive. It may be exclusive. But Microsoft is dropping the ball when it comes to stuff like this, because even with their own studios like uh, horizon zero not horizon zero not uh what's the racing game um horizon horizon, horizon. horizon. yeah their studio is making a third party triple a game like gray on game microsoft ain't even jump on it you know what i'm saying so yep mike your bar dropped the code in the chat yeah long time <laughs> ago yeah a while ago well here let me, let me let me let me let me put the business I mean, don't y'all think that's a problem though i'm just saying like well here's yeah it's a problem but i think we got to recognize why this is going on and first and foremost we, we got to understand you got to go back to 2013 okay back in 2013 microsoft as a whole was making a whole bunch of money but their stock price was was crappy all right and yeah. then they brought in a new regime does z always talk about to clean that up to focus on one thing at a time to get that revenue coming in and get that stock price up. So we got to understand that what we want as far as them, you know, nailing mm -hmm. down exclusives, but, nailing down second party games and all of this stuff, they're going to be reluctant to do it unless we're really, really, really press hard. And I hope Mike Yabar is in this chat and he listens to that because but, if Microsoft wants to transition to like a service based thing, they're not going to be able to do that if their exclusive lineup is crap. You know what I'm saying? They got to build it yeah. up. So that's where they're at right now. And that's why. Crazy. This is the huh. thing that with with them changing over and all that. Remember in 2013 when you when they were talking about Corman Group and all those people who were you know on the board who were talking about um, spinning off or selling off the Xbox brand. Have you seen any of those conversations happen? No, no because exactly. now exactly. they're profitable and they're in a a space where the business market is in their favor. So everybody in the chat who loves to go one way or the other, a complete fanboy of this doesn't work, this doesn't work. As a gamer, Microsoft, like I said, needs to get on their shit. They need to ensure mm -hmm. that they give gamers hope. Because right now, the the X fantastic system, all the the multiplayer that are going to come out, always going to look better. All these digital foundry um, comparisons are all going to be better on the X. That's just a fact. That's how this shit going forward. Yep. But in order to be able to control the narrative, you have to have all your boxes checked. It's just a, th that simple. Right now, Sony, even without the boxes checked, they already had the narrative control. They had the the narrative control at the beginning um, with the the resolution, and they changed that as soon as they saw they were going to lose the power gap. They saw that they changed that immediately. They were like, "We got these games, and we have you know they they started putting a lot of exclusive stuff popping up on the screen, whereas before everybody was using the console exclusive thing. Now Microsoft is the only one getting shit for it." Mm -hmm. console yep. exclusive, console exclusive. It's the same shit, but okay. all, all those games that those. were on VR or on um, PC and PS4, they already said the same shit. It's just nobody cared. Okay, all right. Here's the thing. All right, here's, I wrote all, I, I, the, this is the truth. Hold on, hold on. Let me beat my wife. Chanel! <laughs> I'm on the air! God damn it! Hold <laughs> back. Right. 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 Man, they sandwiches. You no, know he don't like mayonnaise on the sandwich. Check it out, right? At the end of the day, right? Now, this is for someone, you know, I you say, they call me, I've been I've been titled as being called the uh, the godfather of the Xbox. Right? Now, this is a guy, <clears throat> I mean, that that came from the original Xbox. A lot of people, I mean, from the OG Xbox. <clears throat> I tell people this time and again, 
believe it or not, it was the original Xbox that was more of the hardcore console for the gamers, and the PS2 was looking at more of the console for the casuals, right? Mm-hmm. Going from the original Xbox, we had so many uh, exclusives. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. um, uh, whether it's, you know, we're, we're talking about, you know, because like I said, Microsoft always had some games on PC. And, and shout out to my, my man, Shameless Blackie, too. <clears throat> they had this question, uh, conversation, shout out to him, right? He said with Microsoft, Bill Gates, whoever. And I guess Bill was looking at a way that how they can uh, control the liberals. And like I said, this was Bill Gates' dream to have a Windows device and every all of the problems fine. But I think, to me, this is my honest opinion. This is coming from a die-hard Xbox guy, right? And I understand that, believe it or not, um, <clears throat> I'm what you call it, maybe a dinosaur of the old regime, because <clears throat> the casuals far outweigh us by, you know, we're 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 very we're, we're small potatoes in the soup. But <clears throat> so when it, when it's someone that, and I give an opinion, like you know, what's coming from a, a healthy point, I think Microsoft. No, I, I know to me that they hung their hat too much on the whole. PC thing and this, that, and the other. Because I'm be honest with you, again, I have a very, very capable PC. Most console gamers, 99.9.9 point, don't care about any of that. You know what I mean? I, I have play anywhere. Nope. <clears throat> I have play anywhere. Uh, and I want you to call it a, a, a tech guy. I've used it twice. You know what I mean? I just like the simplicity. Sit down, plug, and play. Mm-hmm. And, I, and again, and maybe and I understand Microsoft is more profitable and <laughs> more of a surface. I mean, I like the like the old regime. And then, like when Bill was there and Steve Ballmer, Steve was a mad, a mad man. <clears throat> to 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 have Microsoft products or whatever, you had to buy Microsoft hardware. A little, a little old school, you know what I mean? Maybe mm-hmm. that's not why I'm not the boss of a Fortune 500 company or whatever the case. I mean, I'm old school like that. <clears throat> but I am from the that but you have to leave something in value on your. You're still in the business to sell consoles, you know what I mean? Yep. And and I and again, it's the truth here. And then. Uh, maybe forgetting or losing to what they call or what made them that hit product. Even going to uh, Gamescom, right? <clears throat> Even going to Gamescom, and that they had a better showing for the Age of Empire <clears throat> than they did for their own brand new hardware. To me, I looked at this as a problem. But you have some people that, well, no, you know, and, and when you had Digital Foundry come out and did a better, remember, sales didn't really start funneled, then people started getting really excited <clears throat> on this side until so Digital Foundry show the difference or you know talked about the benefits believe it or not all people was digital foundry mm-hmm. and i think it should have been microsoft again leading that leading that for that, you know, that fight there that message Even, yeah, yeah, i don't think that would have been a good idea no nah, i think that would have that would have hurt them because you but gotta this is what happens right let's say microsoft is the one leading that charge right microsoft goes and says our system can do this it can do this here goes. Not do it. You know, so how can it hurt them? They can do it. It was going to hurt. Let's just go right. Like it, it would have hurt them because it been of things like um, the you need to connect for it to work. Like no, 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 that, no, no, no. That, no, that no, is what took them out of the conversation. No, this or is anything they say come out of their mouth. Every anything that comes out of their mouth, they it would just been taken with a grain of salt. The reason they pushed it on Digital Foundry and all those things was so that everybody can see it from that's, an outside perspective. And that's, that's why they threw them out man. there and gave them all that shit. That was them man, putting their that's, 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 that's not what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Like I said, we're going to win for the sleep. I want to make my Lord Jesus see me crazy. That's not what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying is that you, you had a show, uh, our press conference, right? In Gamescom, right? Yeah. You should, there, a nigga that, that, that we tuned in to watch, we just should have seen some comparisons or the benefit of them explaining exactly. Digital Foundry is going to do what they're going to do regardless. Yeah, and then let, yeah, they, they, the Digital Foundry thing. back you up after you yeah, say, yeah, let yeah. them back you up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That. This is what Digital Foundry, this is what pays the bills for. They're always going to do the comparisons. You know what I mean? But what I'm saying is when you're showing your own, your own, you know what I mean? You got a new final console that's coming out uh, this holiday season. And again, you did. Um, uh, a better job, and I understand that I, I, the Microsoft is kind of in a weird space, you know, where they are PC at the end of the day, whether you like it or not. But they also, you know, the console thing is, is something that they do also, you know what I mean? So they're like in a weird place, and you know, and and, and I know Phil got a lot of crap for saying, you know, games and services, which is the truth, you know, what makes games like look, you look at games like Gears or whatever the case may be, or or Halo, whatever you're into, people still buy in. You know, DLC like this. I'm I, honestly like you know, Gears is probably one of the first games I I spent money on 
this generation were buying, you know, trying to get a campus character or whatever the case may be. I understand that. I understand that games uh, are bigger and more expensive than me. I get all of that. You know what I mean? But when it comes down, I'm going to say this again. When it comes down, <clears throat> a multiplex rule, you get multiplex two, three times a month. You know what I mean? I get that. But it is the exclusive that gives a console its identity, right? Mm -hmm. What separates the Xbox you know, more or less from the PlayStation? They're going to share 99.9% of the same games, but it's the exclusives that separate the two, right? But looking into, like as I said, like I said to uh, you know, to me, and this is the truth, and you people tell me damage control that Microsoft's last big AAA game, you know, honestly, that wasn't a new nice title, may have been Gears of War, and that was in um in in, in twenty sixteen. Forza mm -hmm. is huge, but it's a simulation ratio. <clears throat> you understand what I'm saying? I'm I'm not even into simulation ratios. You know what I mean, and I'd say this again, maybe I'm a, a, the odd duck out. It believe it or not, it wasn't Halo that made me uh, an Xbox fan. It was Fable. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, you know what I mean? So, and, 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 and you got people like practically So, well, people, I understand people buy the Forza for the Xbox, but there are a lot of other gamers <clears throat> that want the other stuff besides that. I want, what I want for Microsoft is, I would say you guys would be surprised to watch your videos. <clears throat> um, uh, Game Inform, when they interviewed Shannon Loftus and they, and they, and they asked him, asked her, I'm sorry, uh, that, you know, why, something I said here on the show that Microsoft Halo 1, Xbox, they gave you Halo 1. Uh, the, the 360 we got gears what is our game you know what i mean yeah. for uh the the, the genre Xbox defining one. game and for the come out recourse not the answers way you understand what i'm saying <laughs> that's not I, and, and, you know, go, go. I still disagree with that oh lord Maybe I'm just here. <laughs> how could you i, I don't know this is, go ahead, no, i'm then. talking about in terms of when he was talking about digital foundry and the reason why microsoft negated all those things and allow DF to do it because it would have been like um, them to their own horn. Everybody would have questioned them. Everybody would have said, even if they would have did comparisons, it would have been stuff about them stage and stuff. Yeah. Whereas the PC under the canvas <coughs> and all that stuff. So hey, well, regardless, pretty though, much what they said was instead of dealing with all that, we just going to put it in a uh, digital foundry hands who is a respectable um, outlet um, and let them do it since everybody go to them anyway. Because okay. if they would but, but couldn't you have done that at the show? DF no. To confirm it anyway. Couldn't so you have done that at the show? The reason they couldn't have done it at the show because it would have been the same yeah. thing. It yeah, been Microsoft is playing digital, paying digital People foundry. Okay, they would have said that anyways. But then when Bet Digital Foundry would have came out and said, "Well, look, what they said is true. They can but do this stuff." And they, when they, digital they foundry came out with their own video outside of Microsoft conference. If Microsoft had them at the conference doing all those comparisons, Microsoft needed a better. We're not talking about having them at the conference. Gamescom was trash. You just said couldn't they done that at the show? No, 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 I didn't say they that. They needed a better no. showing at. Gamescom as a whole. No, I said but, Microsoft could have did some comparisons at Gamescom. No, because now, just like they go to show like, the benefits of the. Just of, like Post was saying, every time they, they do the they do that shit, it was like, oh, that's running on PC. Okay. Well, that's what you, you take that course. argument yeah, away by having naysayers, to, bro. To you have have naysayers, like this, right? You could have gained some fan. You could have gained some credibility Dude, by doing I'm that, and then having digital foundries come Dude, up and question. say, you just after the fact. You know what I'm saying? You just made my point right there. You just made my point. How to we, make a point? We, we got. If we, Microsoft would have done that, people would have waited on Digital Foundry anyway to confirm it. So that, instead that, of them waiting, we're gonna give it to Digital so Foundry don't do anyway. You don't. Have okay, to so then they would have been like, like, okay, so I could give Microsoft some credit. They were telling the truth. Maybe I could trust them the next time. That would have helped them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, How could they hurt? Juice. It's that brother Juice. That's why that brother Juice like, needed, needed a better show. It had. It has nothing to do with the comparisons or none of that stuff. It would have been a better show. It showed something show that would have been better. It, it, that show the was show was trash. The show exactly. was not garbage. It was a garbage fire. No amount of comparisons with the garbage ass games they showed. I, I think you're telling me you wouldn't have been needed been with they needed a better yeah, show. Comparisons Look, between no, the X and no, the S. There's no need of me making comparison videos when I know majority I, I didn't even of see the about community the post. is That's going to wait on That's digital foundry. I didn't so even see about the digital foundry anyway. No, I didn't say about the comparison. What I'm saying is this. Hey, post, this is what I'm saying. Damn. Yeah, bro, this is what I'm saying. It's not even so much about them doing a comparison. Showing the people the benefit of what I'm going, why I'm spending my five hundred dollars exactly on, on, on this yeah. Maserati, and that's what I'm saying. That's the difference. The, that's the not, digital foundry videos are showing comparisons. 
Microsoft should have had a better showing. It doesn't matter if they did comparisons. They should have showed something better than the bullshit they showed. I'm not arguing that it was a good show. I'm not arguing that Microsoft did anything correct. I'm not arguing for none of that. I'm saying Microsoft needed to show better shit, period. All right, hold up. They would have done to do all the comparisons, and they need to stay away from it. Hold up. There's no bias going on. Shout out to Daniel J, who dropped $2 in the Super Chat. Uh, he said, are you saying that Xbox <clears throat> is having an identity crisis? <sighs> no, I, I, I think I don't think they're having no. I don't think they're having an identity crisis. I, what we got to remember is what Xbox has done well, even when it comes to these exclusives. If they their, their best bet has always been second party exclusives, and then after a while, if it became something big, then they gobbled the company up. I think. Microsoft has to get a good collaboration with somebody. Again, I keep I keep rolling back to this, like a Mass Effect Bioshock. You know what I'm saying? They got to get a good collaboration with somebody, something that's eye popping, that's genre defining, like how Game Informer asked Shannon Loftus. So I don't think it's an identity crisis. I just think it's a motivation crisis that's going nah, on. Right I now. think I think it's a problem. Look, if if PSX come around and Sony get um, Devil May Cry Five. And Virtual Fighter Six as an exclusive. Huh. Only, uh, hey, where'd you get hey, Virtual Fighter Six hey, from, bro? Uh, uh, he means the most power, but we're gonna have the biggest games. He means Soul Calibur. It's a problem, bro. It is a problem. I'm gonna look at my. What are you doing, player? What are they ain't you gonna doing? get them both, man. See, yeah. that's what yeah, I was trying not, to say it, earlier. When Capcom had it. those games out there, they got all those IPs. Capcom those said this years you ago. Could have hopped on it, Microsoft, but they. And I think. Sony jumped on it with Street Fighter Five. Now they, if they get Devil May Cry Five, uh, the new Devil May Cry and Virtual Fight, even if it's timed, so it's mm -hmm. so be caliber. No caliber. No, if it's timed, then it's it's so so here's the that point. That's a, yeah, that's the motivation I'm crisis. So no, they ain't getting so caliber, bro. Microsoft. Who cares Sony, at that point? Sony does. They sell hope. They sell hopes and dreams. You may never see these games on PS4, yeah. but you know they're coming to PlayStation. True. That's the only thing that matters. Microsoft no, needs to get in the home selling market. They just need to. And the, yeah, there's two there are two pro, pro problems. One, Scalebound immediately made them the cancellation box. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it. It's just a reality of the situation. And the success of Fallout for announcing and releasing in the same year, even though it was buggy as shit, they put it out and it sold. Yeah. So Microsoft needs to say these are the games that are coming out they need to just go out there and say these are the games that are coming out for the xbox nobody knows what the hell those games are so they yeah. don't fucking exist to anyone that's just this reality of the situation sony when they put up 2018 list they'll have the same games that was on 2017 that didn't make it into 2017 but <laughs> those those games still exist and you know they're coming out for a sony platform if they get canceled they will just stop talking about it for a couple of years. Deep down, I'm looking at you. Wild, I'm looking at you. You haven't heard any of those games, but they just stopped talking about them, started talking about something else. You stop worrying about them. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing. Microsoft, instead of saying, <laughs> we canceled Scalebound, we're making this. They just stopped talking about Scalebound <laughs> and, <Yep. laughs> and left the gap. And Scalebound is still being brought Right, Sony stopped today. talking about Wild, stopped talking about Deep Down, start talking about Days Gone, Start talking about they have some crazy stories. Right, they start talking about some of the stuff, and they fill up that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Those games, yes, they got canceled, but what what actual games you do have? You know what I'm saying? That's, right. and that's what I'm saying. We need to know. They need to. Microsoft needs to start talking because people are are going to go into speculation mode, and all that means yeah. is that if we don't see anything, it doesn't exist. You saying you bought <laughs> these everything. studios or you're making these games? They are. Pipe dreams until I see something that Look, they are real. I don't I give a damn if it's a trailer, if it's a title. They need to show something. Man. Perception is everything. Yeah. And right. Sony, Sony might um, announce their games, and they might take a long time to come out. But you know they are there. Mm -hmm. You know, you know something is in the pipeline, something in the works. Microsoft at this point. Um, if they don't say nothing, like Matt said, nothing exists. It's nothing there. 
Xbox has no games. <laughs> That's what I put it like this. <laughs> we know what's coming. We know of games that are coming out for Sony in twenty nine in twenty nineteen and twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. All right. Yep. Yep. You don't know what Microsoft has coming in twenty nineteen. Yeah. Period. Nope. Yep. No, nope. except for another Forza game. Another Forza. Yep, that's well, you can say, "Yep, you can." <laughs> that's it. I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, well, I know yeah, for twenty nineteen is Forza. They announced the game right. they don't have coming out. Like I said, they need to next they need year. To just Halo, say, I think Halo Six goes. Twenty eighteen is for twenty seventeen games. Right. They need to just say this is. We got this. We're making this game. We're making this game. Mm-hmm. I don't like. I said, um, Last of Us Two was a damn trailer. Wild was. Uh, deep down and wild, both had gameplay mm. and nothing else since they just went quiet. Nobody start start talking about them. It just is what it is. No man's so sky was hyped up. It came out. Hit the like button. Hit the right like button. Hit the like button. You, you know what they did? Every once in a while, even with days gone, they put out gameplay. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know what I'm saying? After, after even after E3, um, they did a, um, somebody did a one on one with one of the game developers. It was on YouTube, and they was just showing um, the game a different play. way to play it. And, that they showed at E3, right? Like that's and that's, their user base. That's and the, the user saddest base. part, the saddest part is that that's how you know a game is more likely to come out for Sony than mm-hmm. to them cancel it and not talk about it anymore. Mm-hmm. Is if they <laughs> continuously show gameplay after the fact, because you'll see a yeah. gameplay demo on on screen and then nobody talks about it, and then you're like, is it still coming out? And you ask, you know, they won't say anything. Or they'll be like it's an active IP or something like that, but nobody's seen or heard from it for years, years. Like deep down, it was supposed to be basically Assassin's Creed made Dark Souls. Like it was supposed to be that combination of things, and it just disappeared. It left the face of the earth. Nobody has <laughs> heard from it for years. <laughs> and and it even talk disappeared. About it no but Sony stopped talking about it. It was the same thing with Wild. Wild was supposed to be like uh, art in third person. And again, disappeared, and nobody <laughs> talked about it. It's just one of, those was one of those Xbox right. Dead titles, but right? But the difference <laughs> is that Sony filled that gap. They stopped talking about one thing and started talking about something else a lot more. Microsoft doesn't yep. do that. They cancel something and don't say about nothing else. So there's nothing in the gap. <laughs> you go tight, the difference. Yep. This, this, <laughs> this is this is symptomatic of of a super tight marketing system this is their problem and they got to loosen up because when you have a super tight marketing system where it's too focused you don't have a hype machine because you're not trying to put money into that hype machine microsoft has to understand they gotta they gotta build up their hype machine so people can say oh all right this might not come till 2019 but i'm excited about something they gotta put that extra money out they they need to just show games and not put a date on them just put a cover soon or don't put exactly Like sometimes they are say put a uh, a year on it, or they'll say coming soon, or they'll just show you trailer and won't show nothing. Sony will put out a a trailer and it won't have no date. It will no date, no nothing. Nobody cares though. (laughs) (laughs) It's coming out next year. I'm gonna play it in January with my mama and them. You know, like they they came to my house and told me, and then two years later, it's still a game that's coming out for Sony. Because, like I said, they fill the gaps. They they sell hope. This game is coming out. Just like at the beginning of this generation when we were talking about Reporter Rock the other day on the other podcast. They they always slow down at the beginning and then mm-hmm. have, you know, they're, they're going to release up, games yeah. soon. It'll take them a couple years, but this is how Sony works. That's hope. Yeah. It, it has nothing. Yep. Like they, they talk about games that they hope are going to come out. We know that this is going to happen. Maybe this is going to happen. Doesn't matter. They sell hope, and it works because you know those games are coming out. Microsoft needs to fix that. They need to sell, start selling some hope. More or less, they just need to start telling us of all these things and all these plans they got. We got all these studios. We're making all these games. Show me the damn games. I don't even give a damn if you don't know when they're coming out. I don't care if they just started development. Show yeah. me that they exist. Yeah. Period. I want to know what the fuck they are. Right, and shows we don't know, and that's stuff. the yep. problem. Yep, promise. That is Microsoft's largest it's problem is that we down. don't know what the hell is going on with any of the games that they are supposedly making. We, as long as we don't know, they don't exist. 
Yeah, prime example. That game Sony locked down with Hideo Kojima. We saw what once or twice. Ain't seen shit about it again. You seen two trailers, no gameplay. You seen two trailers, no gameplay. And after the first trailer, he literally said, "We haven't started the story or decided on an engine." That means they do a goddamn thing, but make a trailer. Yep. No, that game exists. And exactly. It's on every list and it's coming. That ever made is coming. until it comes out in 2020. Yeah, like, that 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 reality that situation. To PS5. That'll probably be a launch title for PS5. Uh, it probably will be a crossover title, but it'll come to PS4. It, yep. They say, but it'll, it'll be a crossover title. I think right you know now, what? Nobody will care. I think right now the base... Um, it's, I think my, 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 my perception of this is that... Um, you need to reinvigorate um, your install base um, at points throughout the um, throughout each generation. Yes. I know you, you when, when when these systems first come out, everybody be excited and things like that. But it comes a point where the base need to be reinvigorated. Either that's through new services, new content, or new games or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think Microsoft is at a point, despite the X being out and selling well and things like that. I think games wise, as far as exclusives, as far as what we uh, what will be for us in the foreseeable future, um, the game base, the install base needs to be reinvigorated. Mm-hmm. Um, Sony did that in a last showing, and they about to do it again at PSX. It keeps your your, your base stable, regardless if the games are um, have a time a period on them or not. Um, it keeps the gamers uh, comfortable um, with the ecosystem that they're in, and knowing that they got games coming out within the next couple of months, within next year, and within the next couple of years. Um, Sony is doing that on a consistent basis. I think right now they got their foot on Microsoft's neck right now. <laughs> See, that's what I've been trying to say in, since the beginning. I mean, you know, if if you got a, a studio like Forza Horizon, you know, that, that studio making a, a third-party RPG, Excellent. why wouldn't you hop yep. on that? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Why wouldn't you lock that up as an exclusive for your console? You've seen what Forza yeah. Horizon is currently doing. You know what I'm saying? That engine is phenomenal. They could pretty much just take the racing out of that and throw 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 a whole game over that 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 landscape you got. But, but hey, yo, remember when they were saying that no, we don't want Forza the, that group doing anything else. Just let them focus on Forza Horizon. And here they making something else. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, exactly. They doing something else. They passed on it. Bro. You're tired of making the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Passed it's crazy. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Chat man, you guys to be so kind. Hey, hit, the like hit the like button. You know Did I mean? we talk about the blind loyalists yesterday? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We talked. We touched on it a little bit. You know what I mean? That's what, that's what we talk about now. The games and and yeah. you know, uh, what, man, you know. Shout out to the chat, man. Look, I want to say shout out to the chat. I don't care what crap or um, K Mega said about y'all yesterday. We want y'all to challenge us. We want yeah. y'all to have a difference of opinions. We do not need yes men in the chat. Exactly. To agree exactly. With everything Xbox. So we have yeah. a great chat. Just because y'all yep. don't agree with us all the time, y'all don't supposed to. Y'all supposed right. to challenge us. Y'all supposed to question our opinions. So shout yeah. out to y'all. Everything crap that K Mega them said about the chat yesterday. Was false. They are blind loyalists, and Microsoft can't do no wrong. Woo! Not the type of gamer I am. <laughs> yeah, we ain't crap, crap man. We won't block it for you. Ecosystem. If you're investing in the system, you have every right to critique that system, whether it's doing good or bad. They tried to chop my boy Next Gen down and Wait, say his opinions. His opinion was false because it did not go and coincide. With their blind loyalist idea that they have for Microsoft. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. The Damn, I, I'm about to stand up and salute. Right. Bullies. Anybody can get it. And even Microsoft can fit the Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we do not roll like that, okay? So. He had an opinion about Microsoft. Gotta be starch out. His yeah. his opinion, uh, the ecosystem that he invested in, they said he did not have the right to criticize Microsoft. Hey, post up. You're going to start talking about people in the community. 
Post up going to end up on the back of a milk carton, man. It's, it's right. best every, to be y'all listening to that. That every that single, Cody every single there. one of Adam, the, the right, PlayStation Cody, people in the right, chat, man. yo, post I know this you, all the damn time. Right, I can debate all of y'all all damn day while simultaneously doing this podcast. The fact, and then and then say, what's up? Keep it real. It's yeah. all, it's all good. We want y'all here. We this right, we talking about video games. This all, this all fun and games. Literally fun and games. I mean, I get it. I get it. I get it. We over here. We don't sugarcoat. We real life to me, but tell him that it's a Xbox Beast Fire for the last hour. Like low key, but we just we talk about we keep it one hundred. It is what it is. Exactly. Yeah. Right. They do stuff wrong. We gonna tell them good. Either way. Say well. Games like Devil May Cry and Sony games don't nobody care about them. But then if you say that about Xbox games, if they care about them, it's both. It's same things applies about preference. You mm-hmm. have people that don't care about Sony games. You have people that don't care about Xbox games. Thanks. It just is what it is, player. Yep. And you cannot call somebody opinion false. <laughs> it don't represent you're you're wrong. You are wrong. You are wrong. You know, talk, you're talk, wrong. debate it out. I wish I could have jumped on that podcast and smacked both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're going to listen to this podcast at one point, so see, you can tell them if they want to come for me, they can come. Yeah. We don't yeah. be in the need of no. I'm talking. Post, post up, up talking post all that post trash with a stuff on the nose. Don't worry about it. He's on the slip phone. He's on the slip phone. He's on the slip phone. Yo. Clarence it right now. But I, I get it. I get it because there's a lot of, you know, hate in the media, but you can't take that out on the community. You can't take that out on the people in the chat and the people that's no. basing their opinions. You got, you got to be able to walk and chew gum at the same time and recognize the difference between the puke pundits and the people that support Beast Fire. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can say what y'all want to say, and y'all will. Let me say so That sack is consists of Nintendo players, Sony yeah. players, and Xbox players. It Yo, consists of Nintendo different players. gamers. Exactly. You people with that chat <laughs> you or, or <laughs> to you on things. Exactly. Yeah, no yes, man. Like exactly. we be we, we be in these podcasts around us. Why and I be bodying Omega Yazo the entire time. <laughs> All day. It's what I do, but it's fun because he comes at me with facts. He tries. It's not facts, but he comes at me. And it's the same thing, right? This is all interactive. We we out here for y'all. Like we we know YouTube celebrities. We just dudes talking about games. <laughs> I, 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 I will I will say though, I'm looking forward to State of Decay. I think uh, Sea of Thieves. I think it will sell. But we got to be honest. We are still lacking. I'm still in, looking forward to in, 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 in exclusives. Yeah, yeah and, and Crackdown too. We're lacking but, in a few dollars too. But 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 we're, we're 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 lacking there, and and we need them to step it up. And it, and it's great that you know, playground they're gonna do a RPG game with some guys from GTA and from some some other studios. That's that's fantastic. I I think I think they'll get it right. But we can't ignore the fact that we need some announcements now to counteract what the opposition is doing because. I, Yes, it's being subjective to say what games are better than the other, but from a blockbuster standpoint, we can't say that the PlayStation 4 exclusives that are coming out next year are at a higher tier than ours that are coming out that have been announced thus far. And I, I just want Xbox to be on the same level playing field. And when you yes. try, to try to scale over it, fanboy or not, when you try to scale over that and ignore that, you're not doing anything for... The exactly. company that you care about because <laughs> you want them to get better. And, and by, by saying by, by saying they're ex- it's acceptable what they're doing, is is not that. Now, at the same time, I think Microsoft has attacked this. They've said, "Listen, we're 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 gonna get no, we're gonna open up new studios if we can't. We're gonna acquire new studios. We have we have uh, the guys that make Forza Horizon Three saying, "Listen, we're gonna make an RPG game." So this stuff is coming. So I think we just need to be a little bit patient now. And I think we need to wait till at least E3 before we really start to kick up hell, honestly. That's I'm going to kick it up hell Hold until up. Microsoft say says something. Last year yeah. too, man. I'm, not, I'm not waiting for anything. Microsoft needs to start talking. They need but to start talking. But they already, but they, what do you want? Oh, you you right. 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 I'm, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get E3 for last year. It's like, hold on a second. Let me talk here. I haven't talked the whole show. Listen, this is where I disagree. 
Microsoft knows that this is a problem. They've addressed it more than one time. Now, fucking games are not made in six months. We don't have a choice but to be patient to wait to see what they're going to give us. And we're going to have to wait till E3. These games are not going to be fucking made in two weeks, guys. Seriously. I don't want the, I can say it. I've, I've been saying this the entire show. I don't give a fuck when they come out. Announce that they're coming out. Announce them. Give us something. Hey, I don't give a damn about Look, release. Wait, 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 wait till you give a damn how long it's going to take to make it. Two you years. just bought this studio yesterday and you ain't announced the merger or whatever, the acquisition, whatever the hell you haven't announced it yet. Tell me that they're making a game and what that game is going to be. I don't give a damn if it's not coming out for three years. I don't give a damn. As gamers, we don't want to know what the fucking game is. We want to fucking know what the game is and we want to see it. It's not like I'm saying. You gotta have content. You gotta have some content. Like, even if it's just a name on the screen, which has that's been done not, with that's, Metro. That's, 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 that's not going to do them Sony, any though. favors. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the reasons I don't like Sony. Why don't announce that shit if it's not coming out anytime soon. I mean, some people don't like that. You know, since people don't like telling them it's going to be out and then it come out 10 years later, like like the last Guardian. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't like that they, they are making games. He says, right. It's too I'm early saying, to talk about them. Right. I <laughs> want them to make these games. You're making games. Fantastic. I just want to know that you're actually making games. Because you're saying I'm making games, yeah. but me not seeing the game means the game isn't getting made. I don't give a damn. I, I'm, I'm I would mash on that one. For the... think it's going to wait to come out. I don't yeah. care if you push it back. None of that shit. To me, the game doesn't exist. You yeah, think exactly. that exists and not show me yeah. that it exists means it doesn't. I don't give a damn. Well, Again, this is what I, I don't care how much Phil smiles. I don't care how nice he looks. Let me explain something to you. This is the cleanup crew. This was the cleanup crew from the 2013 old regime. Talk about it. Was to clean up the stuff before, raise our stock price, keep that revenue up. Talk they can tell us anything that they want until they blew in the face. They have to produce evidence I so, admit, yeah. we, we gotta keep their feet under the fire you know what i'm saying i'm not saying tell them we're gonna chuck our, our xbox one x's out the window if they don't bring something tomorrow nah, but no, keep, no, keep no. the pressure on them you gotta do it with a fortune 500 company that's the cleanup crew or you talk about they've, they've, they've addressed, they've addressed he, he came on and said listen okay. These games aren't. They, he came out directly and said these games are going to take time. We don't want to sh show them off early. We hear you. We we have new studios, and and if we can't get even more new studios, we'll fucking buy them. You you hear uh, Playground <laughs> Digital coming out and and saying not Playground whatever whoever makes the game coming out and saying that they're going to be making an RPG game. That's so the they're, they're, they're venturing off. It's not. We have true. to be patient. What do you yeah, want yeah. them to do? Yeah. 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 Ain't no ain't no one would knock it on the door and say, yo, we check. He on this. He said the exact same thing. They got the point. He said the exact same thing. We're purchasing exactly. studios. Yes, yes. Studios. and, and guess it. what? It takes more than a year to make a game. It didn't show me more than a year to make a game. I'm going to prove a point to you right now. because I Hit that like button. Again, they could do exactly what Hideo Kojima did. Do a little little two-minute clip that it me in gameplay or in engine of a game and Thank say this is no. what's coming. No, no, no. See, that's that's they could do the same thing. I don't, yeah, I don't want that. Why would you want that, that knowing that, that the game? Not, we we well, go we after Sony's we, roll we, a second. No, we go after yeah, Sony's yeah. neck when they do this type of shit. No, so it's not no, acceptable bro. for us. I don't want to see that shit. I when I see something in a game, I want to be able to play that shit. That shit that we saw for that game, half of that shit's not gonna be in the fucking game. That was all fucking CGI bullshit. Exactly. I put it like this. I put it like this. I put it like this. Every year, Microsoft been investing in games. Every year, they say that same thing. We are investing. in Thank games. you. Every year. Now, um, to the credit, I know they just went through a, a, a regime change, and then some of the games that did come to fruition, whether you liked them or not, you know, um, Zoo Tycoon and Disneyland Adventures and Super Lucky Tales and you know oh, um, things like that. that. Shit out of here, Zoo Tycoon. Get that shit out of here. I Fuck think, uh, me. I think, Look, um, Microsoft is damned if you do, damned if you when don't. We're, we're if they try to branch out and make different games, they're going to get banned. We're talking about, games, about, we're talking about triple A. We're talking about big exclusives. Like um, like D was saying earlier in regards to the production value of Sony exclusives and what they're doing. We some, we need something. They need to match Sony um, toe for toe <laughs> or step for step in regards in, in the content and the production value. 
yeah. that they're putting out. Now, whether that comes to fruition, like D said, we do have to be patient, but you still have those people in the community that want to see um, proof. Some now, some fruits of the labor. Now they want to see a little peek. Just show me a little peek. Give me right? proof. Just show me. Let show me. I'm not down. telling you to open the curtain yeah, and let me see on. everything all out there like that. I'm, I'm saying I'm let sure me I'm peek saying. though. Let me peek what's behind the curtain. Give me a, a a a little sliver of hope, like like kids on Christmas staring at the door while you putting the the things under the tree, like while you putting the presents under the tree. I just want to see that the presents are there. I don't need to know, brother. You ain't you ain't got no presents. All right, how I'm gonna <laughs> all that shit, but I'm gonna, I just want to know that it's gonna be a long Christmas. You saying it don't mean nothing. Absolutely I'm stuck nothing. between a rock and a hard place, hey. man. They stuck between a rock and a hard place. Pub PUBG's gonna do a lot for PUBG's gonna do a lot for the Xbox though when it come out. Honestly, it is. And then and then January is gonna come. And we're going to be waiting for, for State of Decay probably in March. So State of Decay in March. And then Are you not and something the else. And a, a, and a lot of people. Coming down a couple months later. I want right, to say sure. A lot of people sleep on a lot of people sleep on Sea of Thieves too. I think that's going to be a sleeper hit, man. Honestly. It's better what you think. I've actually played it. Sea of Thieves is fun drunk. And no, listen, I, listen, listen. eat it up like Minecraft. Listen. Sea of Thieves will sell strictly off of its appeal to the the people who love Minecraft and all that stuff. It'll it'll fell off for those people alone. And like I said, it's fun drunk. It's Listen, absolutely fun with people and drunk. It's it's amazing. I would like to say one thing <laughs> we can develop. It's already eleven o'clock, right? Um if you guys enjoyed the show tonight, um hit the like button. Hit the like button. There's, uh, there's over two people you shout out to Mike your bar dropped a a, a a cool in the chat. Shout out to him one whatever it was. Uh shout out to you. Um the next gen got a headset. Oh, yeah, I like headsets, man. At least right here, fire though. I got some more though. But anyway, listen, shout out to all you guys that swing by and watch all the shows that, that support the broadband bullies. Um, uh, shout out to my man Dana, dropped two dollars in the super chat. Yes, sir. Yeah. Phone users, like I said, I'm looking for like you know, at least three more people. If you're interested in getting down with the broadband bullies uh, and participating in, in the shows and different things that we got going on behind the scenes and within the scenes, like my shout out my brother. Uh, Brian, Patreon, VIP. You know, I mean, he didn't ask for anything, he give anything, but the type of support that we get, we appreciate it. Yeah, he on the right here, and, 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 and it, it helps us, you know, take everything to the next level. Also, to shut up, my man, uh, the finance is also to a Patreon support. Lex Hazard, we, shout out to you guys. Uh, like I said, hit the like if you enjoyed the show today. We appreciate it. Uh, and um, also real quick, um, next year I know you've been watching Full House. The, Netflix on the back. I know. I know you can watch Full House. That's what my daughter. <laughs> no, that's it's cool. It's cool. You be watching troll movies. That, uh, that's my no, that was, That's cool. my child. It was all in. Your, it's all in your face. It's over the beginning of the twinkle, twinkle. Uh, second, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, e EA. Low key though. Thank you, EA. I I appreciate you, EA. I appreciate you for making sure that the rest of the industry can't fuck us over. I appreciate you for that. <laughs> I went down and said that they, they have created a coalition around EA fucking it up. So I appreciate EA for making sure that the rest of us are looked out for on the low, even though they didn't try. But that's cool. I appreciate you. And video coming Thursday where we have an intervention with your punk ass. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Uh but anyway, yeah, um, thank you all for rocking out with us. And um Super as we always say, um, bang bang. <laughs> Deuces, 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 deuces. We all here, no? Now we still out, brother. Yes, dude. Yeah, Again, I, I want to close show this. Catch it, Duke, and on the air. If, listen, <laughs> if it was not for my slavery, I would not have met my Lord <laughs> Jesus. <laughs>